Welcome back everybody to Channel 8 News. Today we are talking with the Nebraska Tourism Commission. Executive Director John Ricks joining us now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me on. So you brought this trophy you have here. The thing. The award for yeah. Visit Nebraska. <laughs> Talk a little bit about that. What does it mean? Yeah, um, U.S. Travel is our big trade association and annually they have competitions on a variety of things. And we were in Grand Rapids, Michigan at their big conference two and a half, three weeks ago and um, won the best integrated marketing campaign, uh, which is exciting. It's, it's, it's really good for our industry. It's really good for, for the visibility of the state. So it's, a, it's kind of a win-win. So what does this mean for the state of Nebraska, a award like this? <clears throat> I think it's more awareness. You know, uh, when this campaign kicked off, geez, 2018, 19, um, our challenge was just to create awareness that Nebraska is a really a cool destination to come to. But there were some perceptions that we were up against, and we continue to be up against, but we're overcoming. So uh, it's basically more awareness. People try us out. Um, we give a pretty good following for the campaign outside of state and places. So uh, people are just curious, and when we can get them to come here, that's our job, to get people here. Um, and they've been coming, uh, and we like this award a lot because it's based really on performance in the marketplace. So how has tourism gone this summer? Have you guys been keeping track yeah. of travel? What does that look like? Yeah, um, this summer's looked really, really good. Um, we came out of the pandemic really strong much earlier. We returned much earlier than we thought we were, and uh, we're funded by a 1% lodging tax. So the fiscal year that just finished on June 30th was an all-time record. Um, March, April, and May were all-time records for those individual months. And June this year was only the second month ever that we've gone over a million dollars a month uh, for the lodging tax. Uh, visitor expenditures are, are up. Um, so yeah, it, it's been a great summer. A great summer for Nebraska. Yeah. What about some programs do you guys have going on? Are there anything that the community should know about? Do you have programs ending come, or starting? Uh, What's kind of okay. going on? Um, Every time on, I want to talk about the passport program. Yes. The passport program is well, it's, it's 13th year, and it's just phenomenal. Um, uh, the, the, the deadline is coming up September 30th, so we start getting all the people, we call them passport champions. Uh, I think we already have about 300. And what that program does, it, it gives people um, 70 spots across the state, unique little things to Nebraska to go travel and visit. Um, and the participation in it, uh, again, this summer has been fantastic. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, and everything's looking pretty good for the future. It's all, I, I always tell people it's all on the upside here. The more people we get aware of and the more people we can get here to try the place out, the more they like it, the more they're going to come back. Passport's pretty incredible. 70 stops. Do you know how many people have made 70 stops yet? Have you kind of looked yeah, at well, that? Yeah, we're up about 300 right now. Oh, wait, 300 people yeah. have done 70 stops. Yeah, and last oh year we're, wow. we're, we're, we're headed for the <laughs> we're headed for the, uh, last year's record. I think last year was around 1,400 people. Okay. So from right now until September 30th or whenever, the, it, that's the deadline. We, we take people in a few more days after that. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to start, those passport champions start coming in really hot and heavy right now.